Okay, today's the day. Today's the day that I go to Mexico. Today's the day that I... Today's the day that I go to Mexico. I'm either going to be... I'm going to be in Mexico for at least one week. I'm going to be there until next Thursday. If my consular interview, if my decision gets delayed, there's a chance I could be there longer. If that happens, that's fine. It is what it is. I brought, I brought some extra clothes that will last me a little bit. So if that happens, I'm prepared. I'm a little nervous because I know somebody who had a delay that was up to six months. I know that a delay could be just a week, it could be a day, it could be a few days, it could be the weekend, it could be a month, but it's just gonna be very, very different because I also have the uncertainty of knowing whether or not I'll be coming back to the US. So I'm kind of seeing this as a, uh, as a leave to Mexico. I was in Mexico when I was four years old, when I was one, two, three, four years old. So I really don't know what it's like. I've really never lived there. And that's what makes me nervous. The fact that it'll be a brand new start. That's essentially what I'm treating it as. So I'm glad I brought my car. I'm glad that I uh, prepared a little more than I would for a, a week long trip. So I'll fill up on gas. I'm almost on E. I'll fill up on gas and then I'll head to the bridge and I will try to head directly to the, uh, there's two different uh, clinics that I could do my medical stuff. I really want to start doing that today because if I could complete it all this week, that would be great. So that way I'm not stressed about it next week. This is very emotional for me. I feel like I could cry. This is extremely emotional. I think I will cry pretty soon once I fill up on gas. I am, I will sound empty when I'm filling up. And not only that, but they're cleaning my windshield. So there's two clinics in Ciudad Juarez that will do the medical exam required. I'm at one of them. I know that it's walk-in from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. It's almost 11 a.m. It's like 10.45 right now. So we'll see if I get to talk to them today. one missing vaccine. I did go to school in the U.S. since elementary school. Uh, so kind of interesting that I was missing a vaccine. I'm not sure what it was, but overall that was a pretty good experience. Uh, the doctor was pretty cool. He said that since I don't have any tattoos or anything, he's just gonna, you know, he wasn't too worried. I think it was more for gang affiliation. So if you are uh, heavily tatted if you are in gangs that might not work out in your favor overall they made the process pretty quick very smooth and uh, I think that's the last thing I need I have to come back at 3 30 so right now I'm gonna head out I'm gonna get some food I have to come back at 3 30 to get my results so right now I'm gonna eat food I haven't eaten all day it's noon I think and I'll record more later to the consular to get my results. They told me at 3.30 and I took a little nap. I slept for a little longer than I uh, expected. So I actually ended up getting here at about pretty much right at four. They were walking out and I asked them I was too late. They said, yep, yeah, come back tomorrow. And I confirmed that it opens at 6 a.m. So maybe I'll come back super early, avoid all the traffic. They, 
It's kind of surprising how much traffic there is out here. The supermarket is in a mall. I got lost, but I ended up walking into this mall and I need to get some, the basics. I need to get something for breakfast, something for a lunch, and I'll probably just eat out for dinner. Super cool. I'm at the Airbnb again. I don't think I did a tour, so let me do a quick tour. But first, let me show y'all with the neighbor. Uh, there's a neighbor who helps out maintain the property, and she actually brought me some some food. Mira, mira lo que me traigo. Wow, no pues wow. All right, so I brought some groceries. I ran into her as I was dropping off the groceries. You got the washer and dryer. I actually need to use those tonight. I'm pretty tired, but other than that, you can see the living room setup is really cool. I really like this light. That one could use a little bit of updating, but it's still good. It's like a very, very nice setup. Very nice chairs here. I just did stop by here for 15 minutes to try to take a quick nap. Uh, I couldn't, I was in such a hurry. Here's the secondary bedroom, which I think is also pretty nice. It's a little hot in here, it's a little warm. I'm not sure, um, it's a little warm, but I'll figure out what the problem is. There's one restroom, which is fine. It looks like it's, yeah, this will be fine. I don't need anything fancy. So that's the Airbnb where I'm staying at, honestly, I'm gonna, remember this place for the rest of my life.